Welcome back. New revelations in the case against Brian Koberger, the man accused of murdering four University of Idaho students. And his legal team submitting an alibi to the court, saying in part that he was out driving alone the night of the murders. Our senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett, has more. This morning, a fresh look at Brian Koberger's defense strategy. His lawyers revealing in a long-awaited court filing they will offer expert testimony to cast doubt on prosecutors' evidence placing Koberger near the crime scene, pointing to his fondness for nighttime drives. His public defender now says that, quote, Mr. Koberger was out driving in the early morning hours of November 13, 2022, as he often did to hike and run and or see the moon and the stars. It's the very same defense that the judge appeared skeptical of last year when his public defender first loaded it. Prosecutors allege that Koberger fatally stabbed Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin in their off-campus home near the University of Idaho. Authorities zeroing in on Koberger using cell phone towers to track the location of his phone and surveillance video allegedly showing a white Hyundai matching his vehicle casing the victim's house on the night of the killings and the morning after. This is State of Idaho versus Brian Koberger. In the newly released court documents, Koberger's legal team now says his phone did not travel east on the Moscow-Pullman Highway in the early morning hours of November 13th and thus could not be the vehicle captured on video along the Moscow-Pullman Highway. The judge entered a plea of not guilty on Koberger's behalf, but this morning the case is stalled in unresolved pretrial motions with no trial date. Kaylee Gonzalez's family is saying in a statement they're frustrated by the delays, while their attorney says it's striking just how little information has been shared with the families. The line of communication between the prosecution and the victim's family, at least for the Gonzalez family, has been very limited. I've never seen it before in my career.